why don't you guys start, Matt and Ben? Just tell me how this all started. You guys were are there on a family reunion? Yeah, um, I'm on a family reunion with my family, my mom's side, her um, her brothers and sisters. And today we went to the beach and stuff. And Ben's actually just my friend. He's not a part of the family. He's just my close friend since we were little kids. Okay, great. So uh, you guys would go to the beach. And, and how many of there are you? Is there is it a pretty, pretty big group of you? Uh, yeah, so everyone was getting ready to go on the boat. There were probably, um, how many people are there? 20 people around. And uh, we were deciding to just dig a, we wanted to make like a really big sandcastle. So we brought two metal shovels and our cousins were using like their little plastic ones. We had probably like a five foot wide circle hole in each way and then like two feet deep. We wanted to make it a little bit deeper and we, as we were expanding it, that's when we found the bone. Okay, so you're you're just digging in the in the sand, and um, like who who hit it? Like, did did one of you hit it, or were you using your hands at that point? Like, like who discovered it? Yeah, so um, my buddy Matthew was digging, and he he had scooped it up and, and put it to the side. I uh, didn't realize that he had uh, he had dug it up, and I just looked at him and said, "Hey, look, that that looks like a jaw. Uh, let's let's check it out." And so we checked it out. Um, and then we set it to the side and, and other people came around and looked at it, other family members. And then we went to a little kind of pond shallow area of the, uh, the lake. We rinsed it off. And, and you knew it was a human jaw? Yeah, we knew for sure. We asked all of our aunts and uncles. My aunts were all freaking out. I bet. I bet. What were you, what were yeah. you guys thinking? Uh, at the time, it was kind of just like we were just we're just trying to make a giant sandcastle, right? So you don't really expect to find anything. At the beginning, we're like, "Oh, what if we find dinosaur bones? What if we find treasure?" Like, so that's the most unexpected thing is to actually find something out of all the places to look for. Because when we first got there, my dad started digging. We're like, "No, I don't want." I was like, "I don't want to dig here." Uh, I took a couple steps forward. I'm like, "No, let's let's dig right here." I said, "Let's dig right here," and we just started digging. So I think it's cool because like we could have been digging like of all the places to dig, that's where we dug. Right. I know that that's the crazy thing. Um, so how deep do you think it was buried? Uh, we found it about probably six inches under the surface. It wasn't too deep at all. That's it. Six inches. Yeah. It was, it was found with a layer of seashells. It was, it was really weird. So so six inches deep, there's there's like a layer of shells and then it's the is the uh, the bone underneath it, or are they just kind of all together and you scoop them up and throw it off to the side? It was kind of like um, just kind of in the middle of it. So there was like softer sand, and then it was just like like the six inch layer of like seashells, like all across, not just in that area. And then I got into like clay and like thicker sand, and it was just in there. Like I scooped it. I had no. I would have just kept digging. And then he was like, "That looks like a bone." So I scooped it. We never touched it at any point. Like, I don't know why. I feel like normally I would have just grabbed it with my hand, but for some reason I just used the shovel. Then you said, I think that's a, a bone, that's a jaw. Your aunts start freaking out. So what do you guys do at that point? Um, so we were kind of like, we didn't really know what to do. My aunts were like, we need to call the police. We need to do something about it. But like, they were all getting ready to go like um, on like a boat ride and stuff. So they kind of went over and talked to like the renter, like the, who was in, like the manager of that, section of the beach and he's like yeah we'll we'll call the police and stuff so my family all left on the boat left me and ben just back waiting for the police and the manager wanted us to stay back just in case any of the questions for us and what happened when the cops showed up um this is ben speaking uh so the cops showed up and they asked us some questions about it and then they went and looked at the bone and, and saw where we dug it up um and then they uh proceeded to like block it off from the public and then they made us uh, take statements and, and write everything down that we had seen. Wow. And then we moved all of our stuff as well um, so that could section it off. And like all the groups next to us, like like two or three other families, they cut off like a whole section of these. Everyone had to move. All the fa other families were interested of, about it at first. And like we were alone, so we had to like pack up all of our stuff. By ourselves. Like 20 people worth of stuff me and Ben had to pack up. Wow. So, Mark, I know you sent me some GPS coordinates as far as uh, where this was, but describe like what what part of of Bear Lake. So there's a there's a rental area over there. We had rented a boat for the day, and I don't remember Bear Lake rental or something like that. 
Um, I can't remember exactly. I can look it up. I can send you an email after with it oh, specifically, great. but it was just, we were just in their area. Like it was where we dock the boat. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, they have a little private beach. That's kind of the section that we were in when we pulled up. And I mean, the boys jumped out first. We were trying to get in the boat and they just wanted to dig and play with their shovels. And so that's when they discovered it. Right. Wow. What would you describe as far as the size of this, uh, of this job? Uh, it was, it looked like adult, like average size. So like, uh, four inches from, from your jaw to jaw, like your uh, jawbone to jawbone, your cheek, I'd say it's about like four inches, maybe five. After the, the police close off the area, did you guys go somewhere else to make a sand castle or, or what'd you do from there? Uh, yeah, we had to move our stuff to like the other side of the road of like the private road. And we, we didn't dig anymore. Cause we're like, we just dug for like an hour and we found a bone let's like take a break so we went on the bow and stuff the cops came over and like asked us where we rented off to make sure no keys fell out and like just to know how big of an area to section off to resection off and stuff what do you guys think here you like you said of all the places on the beach you find this yeah it was just crazy because like i had this distinct feeling like i was like we should dig right there i don't know what it was but i was like yeah that looks like a good place because it was like close to the water i don't know if it was that but yeah, it was just crazy. And like, think about it now. At first, it's kind of like, whoa, it's just a bone because you don't expect it. And then it's like, this is someone's like, this is someone's jaw. Like everyone has a jaw. This is someone's. Like, there's a body out there. This is someone's loved one. This is someone's brother. This is someone's sister. Like, this belonged to someone. It's not just a bone. Um, my thoughts were just, I think it's crazy. Like, I, it, it still hasn't fully set in that this is like, this is a person, right? You don't. I don't think about that in the moment, but now it's it's kind of hidden in that, you know, this is like Matthew said, this is somebody's level one, and this is um, a son or a daughter that that we want to we want to help. Right, and hopefully they can. I mean, that'll that especially if there's teeth, you know, often they can identify people through dental records, but who knows how old this is? I guess that's for the anthropologist to decide. Uh, Mark, can I ask you a couple of questions? What were you thinking when when your son yells out, "Hey, we we found a bone." I mean, at first, the, the thought was it's probably an animal bone, maybe it's a deer or something like that. But then yeah. when we got closer and, and able to see human teeth, we were like, oh, yeah, this is actually not. This, I, I've been in the scouts for years. We've seen lots of bones and you, you pull things out and it's fun to see. But like this was obviously very clear from the beginning that this was a human remains and that we needed to do something. So we needed to talk to somebody. As soon as we could, we were like, we just need to make sure that somebody else knows that they can find Because obviously, if there is a person who's gone missing, there's a family waiting for closure. There's a family who's hoping that potentially maybe their loved one hasn't passed, but it, it's better to always know something. So we were just like, this is something we want to make sure that we do something with, as opposed to just throw it back in the water or something like that. If it were just like a deer bone. Sure. Were you, uh, any of you at all curious about maybe digging some more to see if there were like a femur or other parts of, of a body? They definitely were. And I did, did at that point, I was like, nope, we need to leave this alone. We need to go tell somebody. But the boys, they definitely wanted to. Yeah, we dug for like a couple more minutes without my dad knowing, <laughs> trying to find like the upper head. Because we didn't know like, like, it's, like we're pretty sure it's not going to be the whole body. It wasn't buried there. So we're assuming it just washed up. But like at the time, I'm like, if there's a jaw, there's got to be the rest of the head. Like I swear, like digging, I saw like, it looked like a finger bone, but I couldn't find it after probably just in my head. Like, but yeah, we definitely, we definitely kept looking a little bit. You guys may have helped solve a mystery or at least can, can get answers for some family out there or someone that does genealogy and, you know, maybe it's a hundred years old. What are your thoughts about that? I'm just excited to be able to help somebody that, that wants closure, right? It's, it's a loved one. It's a friend. You want to, you want to help out. 